All right, y'all. Today's video. Look at my groceries up there. My vegetables. <laughs> today's video is going to be a little different than what you guys are used to. We are doing a hangout on Sunday with us because I had some updates to do about the ultrasound. Look at my baby. <laughs> she definitely looking Sunday. <laughs> um, and we're doing kind of a cook with us. Sit down talk we'll tell you what's going on so this is a longer video than usual but you will see the ultrasound you will see the pictures you will see a crab bowl that i made how i made it and what ingredients are on it so if you're new hey subscribe it's free and if you've been here before hey girl hey welcome back glad to see you but this is just like i said it's gonna be something different because we were sitting here and we were like you know what let's it's just do something day. different it's a regular day this is how we really are i'm not at work she ain't at work mm -hmm. and we're not talking about baby well we are talking about baby today but this is us this is us in our real life so something different for y'all something different for y'all so i hope you guys enjoy well happy sunday everybody how are you guys doing today look look who's driving me around today <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm getting chauffeured, y'all. I rarely get chauffeured. Believe me when I tell you, I am the driver. No matter what car we're in, I'm always driving her around. So it feels good today. No, it feels great being pregnant. Because <laughs> I'm getting spoiled. I'm getting catered to, y'all. But we did go yesterday and we got the ultrasound done. And I'm going to give y'all a disclaimer it's horrible. Um, it was not the same technician that normally does the ultrasound. Let me look cool so you can see her. I mean, she is in the video. You will always see me. Let's see her. <laughs> but it was a different ultrasound tech, and she was horrible. These are the worst pictures. And I paid for this, y'all. We paid for this. Not I. We paid for this. Thinking we were going to go get some good shots of the baby. Now, it's funny. There's some reason that we're really not supposed to see this baby's gender. We think conspiracy that she made the picture blurry and she made the screen blurry so we really could not see the sex of the baby i really feel like that's why she did it because last time i mean every time that we've gone there it's been a beautiful experience i could praise this place um i can't praise it anymore the girl christine who normally does our ultrasound she's amazing she explains everything like if you looked at my last videos and you heard her going oh there's the ear there's the eye the foot the hand whatever this girl we were in there maybe seven minutes it was blurry she kept clicking through the pictures really really fast and i don't even want to show you pictures of the pictures of the ultrasound because they're so blurry like you can't see nothing it just looks like one big blob the best picture is like one of them that's the regular 2d but the rest of them is a bunch of crap i'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you and it was really like because we didn't pay for the gender package however they don't do gender determination there until you're 14 weeks another company that's not too far away does it at 13 weeks technically yesterday i was 12 6 but the baby is measuring a head so technically 13 weeks so we feel if she had made the picture clear we could have clearly saw the gender what do you think babe yeah it's just it's just i couldn't understand what i was looking at she and couldn't I, and i didn't want to say well what i'm looking at <laughs> without saying it. yeah like we were just so distraught like it was just such a messed up feeling because we're like okay we're paying for this for a reason because our doctor's office didn't give me a 12 week ultrasound so i'm like all right well i'll go you know i told you on friday so i said well i'm 12 6 so let's just go over here now i feel like if the other ultrasound technician was there we would have definitely definitely known the sex now i have my guess of what the sex is sydney she has her guess so we both have our guess of what the sex is so we're kind of like, all right, let's just wait it out. Now, I'm prayfully praying that tomorrow I get a call from my doctor's office. The blood work mysteriously pops up with the result, and we know. Um, I know you can see a gender determination as early as 10 weeks on the ultrasound. We literally we're on because we were like we should have been known and i know it sounds like it's an obsession at this point but we're just kind of getting frustrated 
that every time we feel like we're gonna see the gender, we don't see the gender or find out the gender. So I'ma just tell y'all. We just wanna know. At this point, we just wanna know. We just really wanna start shopping and we just really wanna know. Like we're over not knowing at this point. I mean, I feel like we should have just waited for 20 weeks at this point to know. Um, so it's like, I don't know. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you all a heads up about this this ultrasound. It's very blurry. You're going to be like, what? You can barely see. And you're going to see just how quickly she was clicking through um, the pictures. Like, she really did not want us to see this baby. She stopped on a hand. I think stopped on a foot. She just kept on clicking the click, click, click. That's all it was. Yeah, so. She we didn't just, talk that much. No, I mean, she wasn't from. Like she just wasn't. She didn't want to be at work. Let's put it that way. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I got, too. She just was trying to rush us out like cattle because it was a Saturday and they are definitely more busy on a Saturday. Every other time that we went, we were always the only people there. Now they do make you wait in your car. They come out, they take your temperature, then you go straight into the, um, after you sign the release, you go straight into the room where you do the ultrasound. This time, literally, she had one person come out, then we went in. Um, no, we did not get our whole 15 minute session, not by any stretch of the imagination. We were in and out of that place in 10 minutes. So that should tell you, ultrasound, signing the release, ultrasound me using the bathroom because of course you gotta have a whole a full bladder we're driving an hour and 25 to 30 minutes away to do this so between going in signing the release doing the ultrasound going to the bathroom coming back out getting the pictures i was back in my car in less than 10 minutes because remember didn't i time it no. yeah we timed it and i was like oh this is ridiculous because i looked at my phone before we went in and then i looked at my phone when we got out and we're like wow so it was definitely a totally different experience not saying nothing about baby bump i love them they have treated me well uh the last two times that i went it was just this third time maybe she was just frustrated or overwhelmed but i'm just like you're doing it when we want to really see the baby like i feel like if we were sorry about the gum y'all but it's sunday i'm from the gum <laughs> but um so we're just kind of frustrated about that but later in the video because um, like i said we are on the road y'all Y'all do know that Bath and Body Works was doing their three-week candles for $9.95, right? So we're on our way to Bath and Body Works. We were supposed to go yesterday, which was Saturday, because they've been doing it since Friday. Friday, we were both working. She just got off work, and I was working. So we didn't make it to the mall. And I got to tell you, the little town that we live in right now, you're either going 25 minutes in one direction to one mall, or you're going 45 minutes in another direction to another mall to get to Bath and Body Works. And we just weren't in that mood. Now, we actually went past the Bath and Body Works that we're going to right now, went past it yesterday to get to Raleigh to do the ultrasound but we were running kind of late we thought we had more time than we did got a phone call my god mom talked her head off for what an hour and a half like she had held Sydney hostage because she was there to talk to Sydney so she held Sydney hostage now my godmother does know y'all so she is the only person from my family who knows I'm pregnant and the only reason my godmother knows that I'm pregnant is because we're like this. If you want to be technical, I almost consider her mother, my mother versus my godmother. So we are super close, we're super tight, and she is super excited. She felt like she was left out too, so guess who has to get her a baby bump bear? <laughs> I do. Because I was telling her I was going back. She's like, is that the place you got the baby bump bear from? And you didn't get me one? Y'all. So now I gotta send her baby bump bear. Now she been getting the ultrasound, she's been getting the updates, I've done everything. But she mad, cause she like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Your mama getting one. Sydney's aunt's getting one. But I'm not getting a baby bump bear. I need a bear. So guess who's gotta get another bear? I do. I'm like, I'm gonna have so many damn bears by the time this is over. It's gonna be ridiculous. But anyway, we're on our way to the mall because I'll be getting on track real quick. I had told you that pregnancy, Mary. But we're on our way to the mall so that I can get some three wick candles if they have anything. They said a lot of stores are already sold out. Guess what we get kids too? Uh oh. Krispy Kreme. Okay, y'all. So let me tell you about Krispy Kreme. I don't know about. Yeah, I think I did tell y'all about this Krispy Kreme. Let me tell you something. She's been on this Krispy Kreme kick. It's ridiculous. Listen, y'all. It is so ridiculous. Every day she be like, I want KK. 
I was like, what the heck? When she first said it, I was like, what is KK? She said, Krispy Kreme. I'm gonna make a fat girl or whatever. I'm telling you, this pregnancy, she has more cravings than I do. Like yesterday in Raleigh, we had to go get some seafood, but the place was super crowded. So guess what I got, y'all? I got my boss of market, but guess what? I can only eat the sides. I, meat is still eluding me, I'm telling you. But I did get like the sweet potatoes, sweet, cause it's like a sweet potato casserole. Um, I ate some of the potatoes and I had Brussels sprouts. So I did good. And I had the dinner roll, not the cornbread, but. Cornbread is bomb. Yes, but. I'm not a fan of everybody's cornbread. I'm a fan of like my cornbread. Isn't that just like ironic? But anyway. Um, so I ate sides. <laughs> um, and I didn't even eat all of them. I still got a whole basic meal. Now, so did she though. Um, because we had kind of a long day yesterday. We when we were in Raleigh, we went shopping too. Even though we still haven't been baby shopping, which is ridiculous, but we did shop. Um I think we're shop shopaholics. <laughs> she got the same addiction I do. That's because we're two women. And let me tell you something. This chick right here, I'm going to do a thing on her closet one day. Y'all, this lady right here, shoes, shoes. I got to say easily she's got two, 250 pairs of shoes. Easily. Ridiculous. Now, mind you, she works in corrections. She wears a uniform to work. Don't be laughing. The only time you get to see her like this, in this casual wear, is when she off, like on the weekends. The rest of the time, it's a uniform. We always buying clothes. Well, I think you need another job where you can wear all these clothes because you got clothes. Listen to y'all, y'all listen. This is no lie and it's not an exaggeration. She right here with me. She got clothes in the closet from five Christmases ago that I bought her with the tags on it. Say it. Truth, right? Tags. It's the truth. It's the truth. With the tags. So, literally, this is no lie. When we were in Vegas, we were in the polo store. And I told you she got some stuff out of the polo store, which the stuff she got out of the polo store, I was all right with her getting it out of the polo store because, like I said, she could wear the kitty size. So, her, her price is a little less than my big girl size. Okay? So, I was all right with her getting the stuff out of the polo store. But she keep going to these same exact type of shirts that she got 50 of hanging in her closet. And 30 and them 50 got tags on it. You sound like my aunt. My aunt said the same thing. Same shirt every time. And when I tell you she has the same shirt in the same color, just a different pattern. It could be stripes going this way with the lines going this way. or just, it, But the exact same color. Is that she is so predictable. When I tell you she's so easy to shop for, it's ridiculous. Polo colors, it pops out. And I get, I get that, I get that the colors of polo do pop out. I understand that. I get it. 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 But she's a shopaholic, yeah. I shop for like candles and household things and things that are gonna make my life in the kitchen better since she don't cook. Oh no, you laugh because you don't cook, y'all. I'm still waiting for for a meal from her. I'm waiting. I'm gonna be a skinny old lady from starvation if I wait for her to cook me a meal. Now, can she cook? Yes. In a way. Okay, in a way. Certain things that I make a good steak. I don't know that because I ain't had it yet. Yes, she did. Okay. Good she made a piece of a meal. She did make the steak one time and I made everything else. All the sides, everything else. So, it was I. <laughs> See, now, since you don't know what you want to eat, what can I cook? That's an excuse, y'all. What can I cook? That is an excuse. But anyway, so we're on our way to Bath and Body Works. Well, no. We're going to go buy a Krispy Kreme first. We're going to get the Krispy Kreme first. Get her some Krispy Kreme. No, we can buy uh, mm -mm. We're going to No, no, no. We're going to Krispy Kreme first. So we're going to Krispy Kreme first. Then we're going to go to the mall and get these three wick candles for $9.95. If they still got some. And then Walmart. And then hopefully home. But 
yeah, my day is not set up like that because I just got this feeling that I'm be out till nine o'clock tonight. No, no promise. Promise though. I'm trying to be out all night. Long. But y'all, she getting a seafood buffet tonight. Guess who's making her a seafood buffet? Because we went there to get seafood yesterday, but the line was so long that we couldn't get it. So I had seafood in our deep freezer and in our freezer. So I'm making her seafood. Well, she likes my seafood. I'm all saying a lot. I mean, I make. I just been lazy. We're gonna make it together with love. Oh. With love. Oh, we're making it with love today. Okay. Okay. You making it with love, baby? Yes. Oh. L O V E. Huh. Oh, and I got a kiss thrown. Okay, y'all. So see, this is them Sunday vibes. All right. I'm liking when she off work because she in a good mood. Oh, I'm looking fat, but that's all right. It's baby weight. <laughs> anyway, y'all. I'm gonna hit y'all back up in a little bit. Cause guess what? We got our onesies in. That's gonna be part of our pregnancy announcement. I'm gonna show them to you guys once we get back home to continue this video. So I guess it's gonna be kind of a long video because I'm stuck my head up. But I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Y'all. She got that crispy cream. She got that crispy cream. I'm cheating on Dunkin' Donuts. She cheating on Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts got divorced me. He fine now. You see all the bags in the back? We wasn't supposed to be shopping like this. We didn't shop for the baby yet. We shopping. By the way, y'all, so went into Bath and Body Works. They had like 12 candles left. 12 three wick candles left. We waited in line, what, 25 minutes? So there was a line of about, for about 25 minutes to get into the store, first of all. So everybody was there for the three wick candle deal. So I did not know this, but if you buy the candles today, on the three week deal you can bring them back in when the candle you actually want comes in and exchange it for the exact same price so that was a plus so we went ahead and we got four candles my, my goal was to get four candles anyway so we got four candles two of them I would actually keep because they actually don't smell bad but they're not my original scents but we got four candles that we're planning on exchanging when they get their new shipment in they said this week but thank God they have that little thing. And I shop so much at Bath and Body Works. I got two rewards now. So I get two items for $16.50 for free. So you know they're expensive. I'll find something. <laughs> but yeah, she got her Krispy Kreme. So she's excited. We even got some Krispy Kreme donuts. Not like I needed them. The dogs probably end up eating them. <laughs> Sad to say. But all right, we'll be back in a little bit. Hey y'all, okay, we back after a day of running around. Now, remember I said we probably wasn't gonna get home at six o'clock. It is 5.22. And we've been in the front door maybe five minutes, 10 at the tops, cause we came back home and then we took the little mutt mutts to the park so they could run around and have a beautiful day. Cause it was actually like, what, 57, 58 degrees a day. It was a pretty day. So we took them to the park. So yes, we are finally back at the house, but I'm not gonna make this part super long because I've already been talking y'all heads off um, with all our shenanigans today. But um, I wanted to show you this. So like I told you, we're doing the, um, the, the pregnancy announcement bags. And so I had these made on Etsy. And I just think they're so cute. Handpicked for earth by my grandpas in heaven. See you in May. Now, yes, my official due date is June 13th. However, because of my age and underlying factors like high blood pressure, diabetes, I get to have my baby in May. So basically, I get to choose my baby's birthday um, anywhere between the 37th week and the 39th week. Um, but it will probably be the 37th week, which and we're looking at like the 26th of May. The 38th week will be the 30th of May. So they're like four days apart. But those are the two dates we're looking at. We have not made up our mind which date we're going to go with yet. But there's a reason about those two dates. And I will we'll get into that later. But I just felt like <laughs> I just felt like it kind of lined up perfectly um, that we get to kind of choose the baby's birthday. So that was kind of a cute thing. But yeah, so we got one. And two, too bad they're not twins. It would have been great, but two for um, both boxes. So that means now we have the heartbeat bears for both. We have the onesie for both. 
We have the sneak peek frame for one, and then we have a grandparent's frame for the other, even though it's not going to be their grandchild, per se, since she was raised by her aunt. That's the frame that we're going to give her aunt. So, like I said earlier, and I was talking, the ultrasound is so grainy. I'm going to show it to you guys now, let you see it. Like I said, it was horrible quality. You could just really tell that the lady just didn't want to be there yesterday, but I'm still going to show it to you guys. So you can see the little peanut. And like I said, we've been trying to figure it out. Also, I am going to put in, um, yes, these pictures, they are grainy. They are horrible, but I will, if you even see right here, I am going to, oh, sorry, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to place them in there, but they are horrible. You can see the little peanut somewhat, but yeah, now, now this is, this is the bottom one I was talking about earlier. This is the best one out of all four of them. But it's still like, okay, we know that's the body and we know that's the head, but not a good quality. I mean, if you would have seen the baby's like arms and everything that we saw, I feel like we could have got a better, clearer picture of the baby that we were looking for. When I look at the pictures we got two weeks ago versus the pictures we got yesterday, you would think the pictures we got yesterday were from two weeks ago and the pictures we got two weeks ago should have been yesterday because the quality was so different and the baby looked so much more mature, I guess in the video um or in the pictures last two weeks ago however um we have thought about it and we probably are gonna go to another ultrasound place um later this week and no we're not trying to keep you on ultrasounds it's just we really want to see how the baby is progressing and that's what we thought we were going to see this time so there is one closer to us it's only 35 minutes away um that we'll probably go there because we have to go before the 14th week because after you go the 14th week that's when it's like a gender test and it costs like there's like, like outrageous it's like 115 dollars but if we just go for um the regular ultrasound like we do at the other place it's only 55 so later this week we will probably go there but i'm not quite certain yet but i will let you know because of course you will get a 13 week update this week um so I can tell you how I'm feeling, how if everything's better, what's going on. But we just want to stop in and say that. I know this is a long video today. Happy Sunday. We supporting our cowboys today, mm -hmm. even though they're not playing. <laughs> but, you know, they're not doing the best. We hope Dak is getting better. We and miss you, Dak. Yeah, we miss mm -hmm. you, Dak. But hopefully next season it's a comeback season for them. You know, they're America's team and they're our team. And I know a lot of people don't like cowboys. I'm just saying, we cowboys till we die. <laughs> But you guys, you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. I'm about to go in this kitchen and cook. Because she's not going to. Well, no, she's going to help. We're going to help each With other. Love. With love. Oh, I forgot. With love. And she's going to help me cook. Yes. Maybe I might put a couple snaps of her in there and try to <laughs> help me cook. I haven't figured that out yet. But I know. I've got a good one. It's mom and I can't see. <laughs> you know, can't be. Yeah. Hi, baby. Two weeks ago, mm -hmm. <laughs> they grow so fast. Hiding behind the placenta. I said that this is going to be a stubborn one. <laughs> So silly. Cause like Just doing a lot of moving. I'm happy about that. Little hand on top of the head. I see. <laughs> Getting so big. I feel so much better. <laughs> Why 
you want to hide in there? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, not with all that moving. Ten more weeks, it's going to kick my butt. <laughs> Is right there. Oh, that's funny how you guys can see. Tell me, I just know the head and the butt. Stop hiding. <laughs> I mean, it was moving like crazy when she first moved here. I'm following you. Hand across the face. It's like, get this light out of here. <laughs> Getting all those things. <laughs> oh, look at you. That's why I'd be neat to sit here and look at babies all day. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wiggling around. Look at all that movement. I know. That's what I said. I said, in the next 10 weeks, <laughs> I'm going to feel everything. <laughs> That's a good thing. It's moving a lot. Mm -hmm. Good. I said that it's going to be super active and stubborn. <laughs> it wants to hide and wants to move. <laughs> oh, my little foot. Look at it. Mm. It's just amazing seeing it at six weeks. Mm -hmm. Just being, you know, and then now looking, what, 13 weeks tomorrow, so. Baby did good. And look how long the legs are now. Mm -hmm. Does it look so disproportionate? <laughs> She wanted to keep talking about the head. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Good. Yeah, for a long time. All right, y'all. Y'all gonna cook with me for a second, but I told you I'm making her a seafood bake, almost like a crab bake that you get from any of these crab houses or whatever. But I'm gonna show you what I use. You see my Krispy Kreme over there, but I'm gonna show you. So it's just regular green giant niblets. I put them in a bowl. We're using six of them, but I put them in a bowl with water for three minutes so that they already cook. I'm gonna transfer them over here. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the other three in here. Okay. I use, when I'm being cheap, and it's just something quick, cause she just wanted this for dinner. I use the 19.99 box of crab legs from Walmart. So, they look like this. So real simple. Now I'm gonna show you all a trick. So that y'all shrimp do not shrivel up and get really small. I actually use the cocktail shrimp because they're already cooked. So once I put them in the pan or in the bowl, because I do mine in the oven. So once I put these in there, they don't show well up anymore. They're just really getting heated up because I put them in there last. So I let the crabs cook. Then I add the other ingredients. Then I throw these in last. So they're really just getting heated up and getting the flavor on them. But I will set them in a bowl with some of the seasoning before I do that, okay? So, we're also, excuse my kitchen, y'all. Kitchen, kitchen, and my little mutt butts. <laughs> but, 
I'm going to do the muscles, but I'm going to do these in a skillet first. Then transfer them over to the crabs. And this is and this is all from Walmart. It, they were all in my deep freezer, so it was nothing I had to buy today. I already had this. And then the lobster tails that are from Walmart also. Because there's two of us, we only needed two for the bait. But because we do both like corn a lot, we like potatoes, you know. So these are the two things for that too. Now, just like I did with the corn, putting it in the corn, went in the microwave. I put the potatoes, which are almost done, in the microwave too for three minutes. And these are just regular old bacon potatoes. But I want them to get started so that they're basically semi-cooked before we um, get them together. But Sydney is about to help me, but I just wanted to show you guys basically the ingredients that I'm using. Why am I showing you my dishes? <laughs> the ingredients that we're using. See my little helpers here. <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to show you the ingredients that are going to be used to cook before I did it. Now, when I just felt these potatoes, they are still kind of hard. So I'm going to let them go for three more minutes because I want them kind of al dente before they go in the oven. So I'm going to put them in the oven with the crab. So I'll be right back with you guys. The other ingredients that I forgot. Beef sausage. You know how you have sausage in it. So I will cut probably half of this because just two of us. And I like spicy Cajun sausage too. So I'll probably just take two of these links and cut them in half and put them in it. Also, I put it in the oven, the crab, with one stick of butter. I use shrimp and crab boil. Phillips seafood seasoning. Sorry. Phillips seafood seasoning. And I also use Obey. It's in this because... Do you see this? I would never. I mean, I am seasoned out, y'all. My pantry is something to behold. It's crazy. But I have tons and tons of seasoning. So things I'm about to use is kind of easier for me to break it down. But yeah, this is ridiculous, y'all. <laughs> but I got seasoning. And then I got a seasoning wheel right there. So I'm a seasoning queen. I like to cook with seasoning. I like, I like seasoning. But once I put this all together in the pot before I put it in the oven... I will show you guys what it look like and then I believe this video will be done. But I do got to show you Sydney help me because you know this is going to be something for video. Alright and because the lobster tail cooks so fast also that's going to go in in the end with the shrimp. But I do put the butter that comes with the clarified unsalted butter comes with the lobster tails. So I put that on a plate and I'm going to season it with the seasonings and let it sit until it's almost done and I put the shrimp in. So I just want to point that out. Y'all, my help helper is in the kitchen. Can you believe it? My helper is in the kitchen. I wanted to tell you this too. There's going to be a lot of mussels in this because this comes with two packs and she loves the mussels. So because this comes with two packs, she's going to get two packs of mussels in the bake. And just so you know, in this frying pan, see, it's already boiling. It's olive oil. And I'm about to add butter. And the reason I'm adding butter is just for a more flavor profile um to do the mussels in really quick because they were kind of frozen so i'm gonna quick quick saute them before they go in the pan with everything else yes. so slowly adding the butter to it and this is what this is looking like so there's a stick of butter in there i've already got the sausages around the um crab legs crab legs don't take long to cook anyway because basically they're already pre-cooked i'm just really warming them up the sausages are already cooked in the microwave for four minutes, but you know the sausages are basically pre-cooked anything. Almost everything in this is going to be basically just being reheated. Alright y'all, so all this, which we've got the potatoes, the corn, the sausage, and the crab. So it looks like a lot, but this is not a very big pan. Are going to go in the oven for 15 minutes first, 400 degrees. While these finish cooking, oh, they look so good. Are those finished cooking <laughs> and we've got the shrimp over here marinating and we still got the lobster tail so yes y'all it's gonna be good all right y'all so this has been in the oven for about 10 minutes now and i'm about to add a beer now yes i am pregnant however the alcohol in the beer cooks off most restaurants that you go to they have beer battered fish and it, it cooks off. Alcohol does cook off. Yeah, this is my baby's favorite. So I'm not giving the High Life Company a shout out, but this is what she drinks. So this is what's going in here. So I'm going to pour this 
all over. And the reason I waited because I wanted to the water to cook off of the um the crabs. So I wanted the water to cook off the crabs a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do right now also is I'm gonna add some seasoning to here to the bake, which most of this, ooh, y'all, okay. Most of this already does um, have seasoning, but the corn and the potatoes do not have a seasoning yet. They just got some butter on them. So we're gonna go ahead and add the obey. And it will get more, but it's just what I'm adding right now. Okay, so the obey. Okay. And the Phillips right now. And the reason I use them both because to me they both have a different flavor. But I like the flavor profile that they both have. So I do use them both. And as you see, I am very liberal with seasoning. I am not afraid of seasoning. <laughs> These are still smoking over here, looking real good. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, yeah, so. Okay, y'all, so I ended up, oh, and look at my helper. Washing dishes, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, um, I ended up putting them in two separate pans because it ended up being more than I thought. So I figured we could do this tonight, that one tomorrow night, or however. And I want to point out that in my first trimester, I could not smell seafood. It drove me crazy. But I'm going to add the lobster tails over here because I'm going to let this one finish off. Well, I'm going to let them both finish off, but I'm going to. We're going to eat this one tonight, so I'm going to add the two lobster tails over here for dinner tonight. And then if I want to do lobster tails again tomorrow, I can add two lobster tails over there. Or I can just eat it the way it is. But because we know we want lobster tails tonight, this one's going to have the lobster tail in it when I add it. But I'm about to put it in for 10 more minutes so the shrimp can cook. Then the last thing I'm going to add to it is the lobster tails because they cook really fast. Alright y'all, so it is finally done. We can finally sit down and have Sunday dinner. Um, the last up, I'm just going to take melted butter and pour it through the lobster tails, which per cooked perfectly over the corn. <laughs> Y'all, trying to hold a camera. And over everything. So it is now time to eat. You guys have a great rest of your Sunday. I'm glad you decided to hang out with me and Sydney. Or should I say Sydney and I? Let me be proper. And thanks again and just you know give me your feedback did you like that you had a day with us all right thank y'all have a good one